All right. What's up, everybody? It's been a very long time. I'm sorry. I was trying to get equipment and stuff together, get better videos. It didn't work out. I've been having things just sit around forever, and we decided we're just going to get some knockouts and videos like we did before. We'll try our luck with our, our one take, one wonders. We've got a new addition in the house here. Nico. Nico's not looking this way. Oh, hey. No, still not looking this way. Why? What, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I think we found something to play with over here. <laughs> All right, whoop, get rid of that. There you go. Let's play with this toy over here. So we're gonna go and do an unboxing on a new boat. Some people might already know what this is, probably from the title, I would imagine everybody does actually, but you know, pretend I didn't say that. Um, go ahead. This just came on Friday. And if you know from my last video, I like to do actual real unboxings. Nobody has seen what's inside of here. This is taped up from the factory as it was delivered to the door here. We're gonna find out what they are shipping to us. But since everybody knows from the video, should look something like this. And right now, they're blowing them out for 180 bucks, so it's not too bad. Um, I don't know quite how to slip it out. Don't. You got tape down, dude. Get your knife. Introduce it. There it is, looking pretty good. It should be fun. I'm excited. A nice little boat. Package well. It's defeating my 14 year old son. That is a big boat, isn't it? It's not a little one. Just like we had to with the Sonic Wave, we're going to go ahead and assemble the stand now. Ooh, blah. There. It has been completed. I'm not a fan of the plastic stand. I think they're garbage. Garbage. I really like the wood ones. You know, if it's going to be plastic, it'll at least be bigger for most of my experiences so far. Just like that, looking pretty good. You figure out how to pop the top on that thing. Our instruction manual, remote, and the rest of this crap. I don't know, actually. It's kind of a weird one. I cannot hear you. Cannot hear you at all. I think he was mumbling something about, I don't know where to find it. I think it's somewhere back here. I'm going to start screwing this thing, and I think I found it. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Okay. <sighs> I found it. Excellent. No. Oh. My wonderful son Isaac is helping me right now. I haven't got a mic, and the other video sounded like poo-poo. So since I'm still recording on my phone, I'm just going to stand right here by the camera and do some of the camera work. Well, he helps me out with the boat. Why you go ahead and tilt that towards us a little bit? Keep it where it is, though. And bring it up a little bit. There you go. Alright. I'm just going to do a nice little pan across. Hopefully this is in shot because nobody's looking at the camera right now. Man, it's it's very solid. It is very good solid feeling. I have a Sonic Wake out of shot right there that you can't see. 
and it is flexy all over the place. It makes me nervous. This thing looks like it's gonna be fun. There's that. Let's go ahead and get the remote out. STX2, just like with the Sonic Lake. I used to say these were okay, but then Horizon bought out Tower and Arma, and they could have kept these. Oh, these are really nice. I love these. These are my favorite remotes. I've never mentioned these a few times in my videos because I'm kind of upset that they got rid of these design, which is soft. And nice and the true secret here is this is just the right size when you're walking you can take your toe out and play with one hand if you have to but even besides that it just feels a lot nicer in your hand than this one does this you really make you want to upgrade all right so here is the valverin the valverin here runs on uh 30 amp esc it's got a 3,000 kilovolt motor, if I remember correctly. It's a four pole. It is water cooled. The EC3 pickups, EC3 set up there. We have a micro servo. Looks like it's down underneath. Can't really see it. It's underneath. And then you can see that it's wide open. A lot of people complain about how fast it fills up with water. I figured you could probably get away with partially covering some of it if it's such a bad idea. Let's see how that works. And you're supposed to be going anyways, right? It looks like it actually comes with tape. Yeah, the tape that it comes with is, is crap. That's the other. So the two complaints about this boat that I read, so a whole bunch of people complained about it sinking. It doesn't sink. It goes into the water and gets submerged about to here. The nice thing about the tunnel hole is that it's totally sealed off from the... Oh my god, my brain wants to say carabiners, but it's not the pontoon, the uh, whatever. But it's a completely separate piece, so when it sinks down in the water, it's still staying very buoyant. And as soon as you can go in, it'll pop up. If it really drags too much at low speed, I'll try experimenting with covering some of those holes, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. Good size for the battery. Try to put on that canopy. You have your little thing sticking out. test whether I could do it or not. Yeah. It's kind of a pain. A little bit slides in. It's nice and tight though. The tape won't hurt, but I don't know how much you need it. I should plan on getting flipped over for a while. Oh. Alright. Well that was a nice little quick unboxing. And I might have another one coming up here real soon. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll let you know what we think about it when we get out and play.